I got my first one, like a second hand PRS CE24. It's called like a standard guitar that a friend of mine in another band, he, he wanted help. He didn't know so much about guitars and asked me to come with him to, he's gonna buy a new guitar. And I pointed at that one, buy that one. And he calls me up two weeks later saying like, the, the guitar is beautiful, but it's too good for me. Do you want to buy it? And I bought it. And that was, we did a record called Blackwater Park. And uh, that's the first time I recorded with the uh, PRS. And then I bought a custom 24 second hand after that, which was my main guitar for many years, called the, the swimming pool guitar. It was like blue. It's not here because it doesn't have a piezo brig, bridge. But I used the Custom 24s for a, a long time until they invented the piezo thing, which makes, for the layman, makes the electric guitar sound like an a, a acoustic guitar, basically. We have lots of those. We had acoustic guitars, like on a couple of tours, but you don't want to queen strike it too much and just, you know, have like a, a stand, you know, guitar. And also, I, think, I mean, the changes are too quick yeah. for us to jump in between. We have it would be built too complicated. inside like a, a wall of guitars, it looked nerdy. These three are called P24s, and my new one, green, I didn't order green, got, got green, but well, that's cool. In Sweden we have a saying, grönt är skönt, which means green is nice. And then I have a Ma <laughs> McCarthy 2, which I love, and that's a, a fixed bridge, and I use it for a song called Sorceress, which is drop A, so it's like really way. And then it's Frederick's stuff. <laughs> Like the mains I use are P245, which is the shorter scale ones, kind of the spool scene cut shape thing. So this is one of my mains, but it also has the piezo system in it. I also have for special tuning we do called Dad Fay tuning, but uh, yeah, it's great. Also piezo. And I also use a Tremonti model for one track. Yeah. That, that doesn't have the piezo system in, but that's not needed for that track. But you can go a bit more crazy with the whammy board because it's recessed here. And also, I use this one for the track Michael mentioned, Sorceress, which is a drop A. So it's like a double A here. And this is 594, which is like this different scale length they did. Yeah, I mean, recently we started using the Synergy rigs. So here, for instance, I have a Soldano, which I use for rhythm and leads. And this is the Friedman Dirty Charlie, which is the lower channel is for clean tones, and the upper one is for more crunch, old man's rock type of tones. And it's run by this power amp uh, that Fryette did with collaboration with Synergy, and it has six, or four 6 or six tubes in it. So it's 100 watt, so it's all tube. And we started using it because we didn't want to rent stuff when we fly to Australia or Asia. You never know what kind of old amps you're going to get. Yeah, yeah. So you can basically pop these out like cartridges. You don't have exchange, to. you know, like if you want a Marshall uh, 800 sound, you can get one of them. That's the P24, white. I love Richie Blackmore and, you know, like, tried my best to look like him. I even got myself a hat and it's meat and potato. And I'm, I'm so bad with technical stuff that yesterday, I had this guitar for, I don't know, three years, maybe? Yesterday, I discovered what this one does. A volume. Master volume. For the piezo. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought it was a tone control, but I never touched it, so. And then it's, well, meat and potato. I, I, I need to keep it easy because I'm singing. Rhythm, sound. You know, that type of. Yeah. And a few effects that I can kick in, like a delay. Get a little bit of ambience. And there's something else on there. I don't know what that is. A phaser. I didn't like that phaser in there, so I bought the small stone. 
but I, I only use it for cleaner sounds. And then you have a lead sound. Pretty basic. And I can kick in a gate or kick off a gate, basically, but yeah, you get that. Then it's the clean uh, electric with lots of spring re reverb, because I love that reverb. You know. And here I kick in the small stone a lot of the time, because it covers up mistakes. And then the old man's rock, same thing. I almost did that with my mouth. I had to do it. And a volume pedal. And like I said, the small stone is like, I don't really know when I use it, you know, in the set. There's no like, I just like, it's time, you know. Pretty new, this pedal board is the second show I use it. And it was built by Sound of Silence in Sweden, put together by Joran at Sound of Silence. It has a music con loop system for all these analog pedals. I'm kind of getting away from not using too much digital stuff. Strymon for the more vintage echo is in the loop of the amp, so it's not in this loop system. And also that one TC okay. that I use for just some more psychedelic effects. And also the Wah Q95 dub by Dunlop is uh, like a photo cell one. Which I kind of like because I can do, just kick it in and out anytime. And also there's a fuzz pedal which is not in the loop system. Fussner by a company called Olson Amps, which I've been working on designing an amp with as well. But it's more like a. But it does have an octave switch. So if I play. If I run through my patches, this is like my dry rhythm, heavy rhythm tone, and the second one is the same but with a bit of echo. It's kind of use, we have a lot of octave playing, then we usually kick in the echoes. Like. Sections like that, like more airy rhythms. And then I have the, like the... Softer type of game. Which could also be cool to use the fastener. And also the Strymon has a cool feature, you can get this oscillation effect which I like. I want to get out from a solo, I might want to end on a high note. <laughs> so then I might do, like, if I go from the solo. So I can have that kind of effect going on while I go back to the dry rhythm patch. Yes, totally. That's the plan. To hopefully get it as it is on the album. <laughs> Also, you have the piezo tone, usually, as Michael mentioned earlier. I also like to use that with uh, clean electric tones. I also use the P8 so along with distorted rhythms for one track, which maybe you can't really hear here, but... It's pretty fun, you can see some people in the crowd like, where's the acoustic guitar player? Well, in a way, I liked 
I want it to sound like you plug straight into the amp. That's the goal why I use the switching system. Because it's only going through as many things as I want to, because it's only that switching system. If I turn all the pedals on, you're gonna, you're gonna eventually suck some tone of the, of the core of the tone of the amp. Metal in general is more like plugging straight in, but with Opeth we have a lot of different layers in our music, I would say. That's why we use the pH system and the echo, but basically we only use echo and a bit of univibe. That's like the basic get to go setup. And now oh, there's a lot more stuff in here, but why not? It's fun, you know? <laughs> 